What up, what up, what is going on everybody, it's your boy Jazz, welcome back to another NBA 2K14 online ranked match. This is actually my second ranked match on the next gen. And I was, I was uh, call me crazy, but I was feeling a bit mellowy. I don't know what it was, but I was like, you know what? I want to roll with the boy mellow. So I go up against the Golden State Warriors, and they are the cheesiest team in this damn game, man. No, I'm rusty, I'm ass, and uh, it was a difficult game. So right here, we go straight to the center, Tyson Chandler, with a gem right there. Nice 2-0 lead, and this right here is the story of the game. Oh, offensive rebound, has enough time to call another play. Look fancy for the crowd. Pass it around, get an open shot. They're putting up two fingers, number two, number two, Omaha, Omaha, somebody get open. A lot of passing around. Up, oh, eventually he finds somebody open, and eventually he sinks down his shots. This guy could not allow me to get a defensive rebound. All he grabbed was offensive rebound. I, I truly, I, I should have did a live commentary for this. All jokes, I wanted to break something. I, I wanted to break something. There's nothing more frustrating than just seeing, you know, look, look, wide open, wide open, wide open. Right? I miss, you know, it's expected. You can't make every... Wild open shot, even I know that. I'm no dummy. So here he goes, grabs the rebound, backs up. You know, about the same shot I took, and he makes it, of course. But somehow, some way, oh, of course, we missed a dunk, right? Uh, it's tie ball game going into the second quarter. It's going to be 15 15, because, uh, of course, with seven seconds left, that's enough time for him to make a shot. Um, Andre Iguodala must lead the league in steals. I couldn't give the ball to Melo because Melo's a small forward. As soon as we would get into a half-court offense, he would always be on, you know, the wing. Always on behind the three-point line. I would try to give him the ball. And Andre Iguodala is like Deion Sanders in man-to-man -man defense. He allowed nothing to go to Melo. Like, he would deflect so much. They played the passing lane so well. And offensive rebounds so well. And made threes so well. To the point where you just want to break something. Now, I haven't played online ranked in a while, so I know I'm ass. The Knicks are ass, so ass plus ass equals extra ass. We all know this, but I, I, I felt like I, I did a decent job for, you know, my first time playing in a while. Uh, you know, my game plan is always, you know, the same. Get the ball inside, try and, you know, make easy buckets while your opponent is forcing up shots and, you know, try to take advantage of, you know, chains of misses, two, three, four misses in a row. Try and take advantage of those with my own makes, you know. Um, so here I am trying to go on the inside with the bully. Uh, you know, Melo's an absolute monster. So, you know, I got to feed him as much as possible. Everybody on this team can shoot. You give anybody a, look, you give anybody a split second to be able to shoot the ball, he will chuck it up, and he will make it. Not only will he make it, he will not only make it. If he so happens to miss, he gets an offensive rebound. Stephen Curry does not miss. Stephen, Stephen, Tomato, Tomato, whatever the hell you want to call him. That light-skinned God of a three-point shooter, it seems like, does not miss. He doesn't miss. Of course, he out-hustles me, right? And, um, you know, corner to the three with Curry, and he makes it catch and shoot. And I'm like, okay, this is getting a little frustrating. And I tried everything. I tried man-to-man. -man. I tried 2-3. I tried 3-2. I tried 1-3-1. One, one. I tried every zone possible. I tried man. I tried sticking Curry myself. I tried letting the computer stick Curry. I did everything I possibly could do to start. Look, look, look at Tyson Chandler. Look at Tyson. Don't even jump Tyson. It's cool. It's cool. Just let him get an easy, easy two foot bunny. Don't, don't even worry about it, Tyson. Don't even jump. The New York Knickerbockers. The New York Knickerbockers. They have the defensive awareness of a trash bag. It is hideous on the amount of awareness that they have. They don't grab rebounds. They don't. Play the passing lanes. They just watch passes go right in front of them. I tried that and I got shut down. You know what I'm saying? He's he's looking like the globe trotters out here, making fancy no look behind the back off the heel of his toe passes. I try a regular handoff, not even not even across the the floor court. No, I try to run the mellow and hand it off. And somehow Iggy gets his little sticky hands in there and he'll rip the ball. It was it was frustrating. I wanted to break something, man. The Golden State Warriors are the truth. But nonetheless, we're still in this game. You know what I mean? Even though I, I feel like he's not missing and I'm missing everything, 
we're still in this game. We still have an opportunity. So I feel like, you know, hopefully I get comfortable and get in the role of things. I know I'm struggling myself. Right here, look, I'm trying to get Tyson Chandler myself because I know he ain't going to jump. And, of course, him just making a couple moves, does a little wiggle eye pre-jump, and, and uh, he ends up making an easy basket. So uh, right there, we end up giving a really quick inside pass to uh, Stoudemire. But it's tough because I, I know I did a really good job offensively. The end of the game, Melo was 11 for 14. The guy went, he barely missed. But neither did this guy. You know what I mean? He's making three after three after three. And eventually, it just adds up. You know, he's up two. He's up three. He's up four. I'll miss a shot. He'll make a three. I'll miss a shot. He'll make another three. It keeps on escalating. And, you know, it didn't help that he had so many offensive rebounds. So, uh, and I, I really didn't find any player comfortable besides Melo. You know, I tried J.R. Smith. I tried Shumpert. I tried, you know, there was nobody that could make their own shot besides Melo. Now, I didn't, you know, play my usual game. I caught maybe three, four pick and rolls this game, you know, which usually isn't my stuff. Another offensive rebound. <laughs> yeah, there were offensive rebounds I didn't put in the game, but those offensive rebounds were, there was literally Tyson Chandler, also Amari Stoudemire down there, and Stephen Curry would come just grab an offensive board, and I wanted to punch my TV right in the nose, man. So frustrating. Just Nothing's more frustrating than offensive rebound. You know what I mean? If I get a lot... Look at hands in his face. If I get lucky enough to stop somebody, I want to be able to get the rebound. You know what I mean? There's nothing more frustrating than knowing uh, uh, that I stop somebody and I don't get the rebound. You know what I mean? I, I played good defense. And this team, they make everything. You know what I mean? The few times that they missed, we were unable to capitalize by grabbing the rebound. And it's so frustrating, man. And... Uh, I know on on the previous gen, you know, when I was on uh, PS3, you know, you could go to your defensive settings, you could put crash boards all the way. That you know helped me out. Unless I'm missing it, you can't do that on the the current gen. You, you can't or next gen, whatever it is you guys want to consider. It. You can't do it. You know what I mean? I, I can't put them to specifically 100% crash rebounds. You know, because we're giving them so many rebounds. Just a beautiful shot. The computer doesn't close in on them. And the defense wasn't any better when I tried man-to-man. -man. Uh, he would just run right by me. I had trouble guarding him. The computer couldn't guard him. And this is where he, he really just started to put... Look at The passing lanes are non-existing with the Golden State Warriors. We finally get another strip. Oh, nope. He, he takes it right back. Breakaway. Stephen Curry goes up for the jam. Sports Center top 10 plays of the week. <laughs> like It was very, very frustrating. I, I, then I just started getting frustrated forcing up bad shots, another offensive rebound, and again, he has time to reset, cause a couple pump fakes, you know, nice couple behind the back moves, up, oh, nothing's open, pass it back out top of the key, wide open jump shot, <laughs> you know what I mean, uh, it, it, it doesn't help that I, I, I'm mediocre at this game, you know what I mean, so, uh, I need every advantage possible, I, I do, you know what I mean, it's not like Madden where, you know, I could go against all odds and come against adversity, because I'm, you know, way better and skilled at that game than I am here. Look at this. Like, I don't need things like this. I'm trying to pass the ball to Melo, and he shoots it by mistake. It's like, um, I, I need offensive rebounds to not go against me. You know what I mean? Uh, and this right here also happened. It's like quick. It would stop, and then it would go really quick. And I don't know. It's frustrating. Uh, another <laughs> offensive rebound. Like, I, I can't win not getting offensive rebounds. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's very difficult for me to stop somebody. And when I do... Them grabbing an offensive rebound, just, uh, I can't win this way. Uh, maybe, let me know in the comment section, because you guys always know more than I do. Um, are the Knicks that bad? Like, because I was calling defenses, and I would find, you know, I would get them, I would get them to miss. And trust me, he wasn't missing often. He really wasn't. And the few times that he did, he would just snag an offensive rebound. And, you know, is there a way I could, you know, uh, what's the word I want to say? Like, not promote, but... Why do I want to say encourage for whatever reason? Is there any way where I can get more offensive rebounds? You know, is there a way where I can produce more rebounds to go my way? Like, is there an option for me to maybe go in and uh, try and get more defensive rebounds, I should say, excuse me, and limit offensive rebounds? Because that's what truly killed me. You look at all the turnovers that I had because of them playing the passing lane so well. You look at all the offensive rebounds. You look at all the extra possessions that he came away with, there's no way I'm going to be able to win playing this way. You know what I mean? I need to step my game up. And also, I need the computer to help me out. You know, are the Knicks that bad, though? Like, look at look at the field goals. He barely missed. He barely missed. And when he did, 
just look at all the threes that he was sinking and then go on ahead and take a look at the offense rebounds. Count with me. That's what? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like 16 offensive rebounds. That's like over, well, easily over 10 extra possessions. I had like five. Five. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then we go to turnovers and we have like 16 more turnovers. We go to him and he had like nine. So he had so many extra possessions and I got I got my ass beat, man. I got to get back in the swing of things. Let me know. Do the Knicks suck? Obviously, we know I suck, but it's about the Knicks. What team you guys want next? Your boy GS, I'm out. Peace.